going everyone today I'm at the uh, Stokes State Forest in New Jersey I was here once before I think like two years ago uh, I've got Kurt with me and uh, it's kind of what we're looking at right now we're at the uh, stony ooh, stony lookout <laughs> uh, parking area I believe Stony Lake. There you go. Stony Lake. But we're right here. We're going to hop on to that green trail, hike up to this lookout tower, and then we're going to head north along the AT and make some other loop out of this. Maybe go up as far as that yellow trail and then come back down on the red. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're thinking of for the day. No real plan, just kind of winging it. Just wanted to get outside. So this trail has pretty much been a steady climb, mostly rocky trail, some smooth spots, but we're uh, almost up to the ridge area. And that there, that's pretty much what the rocky sections look like. All in all, not a bad trail. But when I was here, it was just at the beginning of winter, so it wasn't as green. And last time Kurt was here, he had similar experience, a lot of snow. But uh, this is a beautiful area, and it's nice to see it as green as it is right now. One section, which I probably should have taken a picture or something, but you know. Sometimes just having the memory is good, but there's a, a nice section where you go through a big fern, fern area, and it's like both sides of the trail. Trees are thinned out a little bit there, it's just all fern. getting a little steeper. I guess this is like towards that final push you were talking about. I think so, yeah. You don't see a lot of trees up above that. Uh, oh, everything's been pretty well blazed through this trail as well. Where we started, there's uh, a few trails that are all in that same area, like blue, green, gray. For the most part, it's pretty easy to tell them apart. That's pretty much how they do all their blazes. But the the gray looks a lot like uh, the green, if you're not looking at it closely. And if you had sunglasses on like I did, it really looks the same.
first little view. Nice. Just gonna keep going up. Not sure how well you can hear me. It's a little windy up here, but we are at the top. View is much the same on this side. That little lake is down there. What do you say we uh, look into this tower? I, I don't know if it's climbable. It might not be with those antenna on it. But let's go see the let's go see what the story is. not be climbing up that sucker today. That's okay, still a good view. We've been walking along the AT for a little bit. It's a pretty nice section of the AT. This is, uh, there, there's some rockiness to it, but for the most part, it's nice and smooth, um, pretty good pace. And uh, we haven't gotten to the next trail junction. Not yet anyway, but currently we're looking at following the AT until we get to that yellow trail and then cutting over to the red trail using that. And I don't remember the trail names, but uh, that's, the, that's what their uh, blaze designation is. We found the sign for the shelter. AT continues that way. And the shelter is over in that direction. So I'm gonna go scope it out, see what it looks like. This is a really nice shelter area. Uh, there's a bunch of camping back that way and all through here and the trail goes up that way and winds back up to the AT and all along this general area where the shelter is uh, lots of nice camping now in New Jersey they want you to only camp in the shelter area you don't have to be specifically in the shelter you just have to be in the area uh, the water source at the moment Again, it's, it's not much different than what we had just crossed a little while ago. Not looking very good. But again, we're up on a ridge, it's drier. We haven't had rain in a couple days. Uh, and actually this part of the Northeast might have gone a little longer without rain. They do have a bear box, which is pretty awesome. And I've seen, I don't know if I've seen that at every shelter in New Jersey, but I've seen that, uh, I, I can recall seeing that at a lot of the, the shelters. Uh, we keep a uh, leapfrog in with uh, a few through hikers and they were down here. They said the privy works. I'm not going to go and raid it. I'm not going to go take a peek. Uh, that's Chris Oconee's job and I'm pretty sure he's already been through this area. So uh, if you want to see a rating on that, go check, uh, go check out his channel. All right, it's really windy here. I'm not sure how much you'll be able to hear. We came from that direction to this nice opening, a lot of nice uh, pine needles down. Just nice looking area, but we came to one of the marked vistas on the map after the fire tower. AT continues that way, but we have reached our junction, so we're going to turn away from this for now and make our way down to the red trail, and that's the, that's kind of like the turning point from there, it's just slowly making our way back to the parking lot, but beautiful day out, I'm so glad that uh, was able to get out today. So we were coming down the yellow trail and we 
found a trail junction that goes this way. Now, we're looking for the red trail. This joins with the blue, and going down in that direction, we only see blazes for blue and yellow. Current went the other direction on the blue trail, only saw blazes for blue. Broke out the trail map. One thing worth noting on the trail map, there are a few uh, shades of blue for different trails that at first glance, they look like they're streams. So on the trail map, it looks like the red and this blue trail follow each other. But the blue trail, it does a big loop through the forest. And I actually did part of that on the other side, on the east side, or the west side of the area. So no red blazes. If you do this area, keep that in mind. Haven't seen a single red blaze, but going by the map and knowing where the blue trail goes, we want to follow it in that direction, uh, which is south. So just be mindful. And whenever you see things like that that make you kind of question, it's always good to reference the map, which is another good reason to have a map, whether paper or digital on you. Because things aren't, even, even a place like this where things have been blazed pretty well, you still run into some things that make you scratch your head. We have met back up with the, uh, the brown green trail almost down to the parking area. So overall, great hike. The only thing that was uh, a little interesting, negative, would be just the fact that we did not see any red trail, even though it's marked on the map. So, but other than that, place is marked very well. Um, got to see some through hikers, got some good views. The last section of forest was amazing to walk through. I mean, it was like your typical forest, you know, just the things you'd expect to see. But what made it awesome is it was super quiet. We didn't really hear any insects, any animals, just hit a nice, quiet section. And that was awesome, because I mean, you don't get to experience that very often, just nice, peaceful forest. Usually there's road noise somewhere. So didn't want to break that by filming. So just got to enjoy the peace and quiet. And that was fantastic. But that is going to do it for this one. Catch you guys next time. Uh, thanks for tagging along.